The work I'm showing here is uh, called Life is Beautiful. And uh, I find it in a way uh, along the same lines as the title of the exhibition, which is The World is Yours. And I think, in, in a sense, we're both referring to the period between when we are born and when we die. And it's a, it's a period where we can have extremely lofty visions or we can just sit around and do nothing. And I think it's for artists especially, there's a situation where we can be extremely lofty with our ideas or be very simplistic. And it gives you a sense of power of being able to do whatever you want to. So I think it's in a way very inspirational and enriching and at the same time it can have uh, 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 it really has a double-edged sword really you can be very cynical about it or you can be very incredibly ambitious and lofty I don't think I'm making a statement I think uh, saying something like life is beautiful obviously in this day, day and age as an artist you have to have uh, a certain uh, angle, uh, a tongue-in-cheek angle towards the whole statement. Otherwise, you're making a very flat statement and it, it dies. So, in fact, the statement, life is beautiful, is, is interfered by the fact that it's done with knives. So, actually, the knives give it the cynicism that I think the artwork uh, needs. Uh, well, uh, text using text in my work goes uh, back to about seven or eight years ago. I was uh, experimenting with uh, text in in the uh, calligraphy tradition in the Farsi language, and I think the usage of text in the Farsi language is always, when seen in art form, it al it's always referring to kind of spiritual or very uh, heavy duty poetical. Uh, implications. So I was taking a lot of, uh, for example, vernacular bumper sticker phrases that I was finding here and there and, and putting them into the context of uh, ornamented artwork. So the play off of what the West perceives as calligraphy and actually what it meant was something that I was playing with. And at one point I think the, the, the whole idea was kind of transformed into uh, the the English language, and I think the play is, is still is is still evident when I when I work that it, the play as far as one artist is doing it, there's a sense of playfulness that uh, text has and the power that text has in in work. Sometimes it's even much more stronger. One phrase in particular might have an incredibly powerful effect on someone, where uh, in fact an image w might fall short of having the same effect. Well, that's obvious, I think, to a certain extent, the kind of uh, cultures that have within them many different idiosyncrasies uh, will, will have an, uh, a particular effect on the way that... Well, well, of course, in many different cultures you have the special idiosyncrasies that have a certain effect on the way that artwork is interpreted, but at one point there's a there's a um, uh, there's an overall primary way that people might take on uh, certain ideas and interpret certain ideas on on a much more primal and almost uh, global way, and I think I, I'm uh, trying to work on making kind of statement that does not get. Uh, altered or does not get complicated when it's perceived by different cultures. So I think that's something that I'm really working on, to make a statement that doesn't get really confused when it's transported from one culture to another.